that's $31 for just the head unit, but over here, dollar cheaper and you get the same one 200 watt peak power same everything with four speakers it comes with four six and a half way speakers usb bluetooth siri button like makes no sense but sure okay so we are here in the jeep um so I picked up that head unit that I showed you guys. It's the dual um, AM, FM, digital, Bluetooth, car stereo, and four six and a half inch two-way speakers. Um, model, I guess, number, box numbers, XDM17 SPK4, USB, MP3, aux, 200 watts, peak power, uh, iPlug, smart remote app, no CD player. $29. Um, now, I've actually, two days after buying this, I saw it actually on clearance at another Walmart for 30 bucks. No, I mean 20 bucks. $20 even. Not too bad. But anyway, I, what, what are you going to get for a $20 head unit? So you see, now every car is going to differ, so I didn't do a video on like installing it. But basically, um, you need the, I took the old radio, but you need a faceplate, which Walmart had. Um, this was $10. Um, you can probably, you can, I mean, I got the whole, the whole kit. This is an older car, but I got the whole kit from Walmart. Um, so that was 30. This was like 10 bucks. Um, the wiring harness was like $15. And in that way, but I got the wiring harness. So I wouldn't have to cut the harness that I have in this car. If you didn't want it, you can just wire this to that and you do it all yourself. But if you want to retain your factory, like plug for whatever reason, um, like I did, um, that's $15, and then there was like a $7 or $8 uh, antenna cable. But like like you see here, we have it installed. Um, a clean install. Like I would say like the buttons feel like decent. There's like a little bit of wobbliness right there. But like, what do you get? What do you expect? I mean, uh, you have a, a reset button, USB, um, aux, the presets, the mode aux in so this is where you'd switch from bluetooth um uh, ah, okay it goes up to 40 but i mean, numbers are relative um it has like a siri for me it turns into a siri function so when i hit that siri will turn on um you have an, a power on or like this power on power off but it's a mute button um skip next track bluetooth for phone this changes so it'll go through your stuff too for um, different settings. I think if you hold it, it just turns into the time like that. I mean, you know, what, what do you expect? If you click on this, you can change like your bass, your treble and stuff. Treble zero, balance, fade, loudness off. But, I mean like, you know, what are you expecting from a $30 head unit? Now, this is a 2002 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I have uh, four regular speakers and two like door or two uh, dashboard. So the speakers in here, I didn't use. They're still in here. I mean, they're like, they're cheap dual speakers. I Okay, look, honestly, I'm sure they're better than like what came factory in this uh, like 20 year old car. Um, but the front has six by nines and the rear has like five and three quarters. You can make them fit, but they're not gonna fit right away. But for if you have six and a half inch speakers, then they're gonna fit fine. They come with the screws and everything. Now, like for this, like if we go to, I'm not really uh, familiar with the channels here. It's very good. Um, it sounds better than the stock with the stock speakers. This head unit sounds better than the stock like head unit and system combo. It made my speakers more clear. Um, the bass is a little bit better, and like it actually is like for whatever reason, it sounds better when you're using like aux or Bluetooth than 
like the radio. It's even more crisp. So for $30, this is a steal. Let's be honest. For 30 bucks, this is a steal. My coolant is low, but this is a steal. I highly recommend it. Um, again, if you have a cheap car and you need a cheap system, this is the way to go. Um, I was also, when I was at that Walmart, they had another head unit that was marked from $150 to like, I think it was 80 bucks. And that one was a Android and Apple CarPlay seven inch unit with four speakers also. So I don't know what the fuck Walmart's doing, but it's a pretty good deal. I mean, I don't know. I like it. It sounds great. Um, I don't have uh, the buttons behind the steering wheel to control the audio, so I don't have to worry about that. You don't have to get the module or anything like that. So like $30 for the head unit. Right now, I mean, I'd average about $50 all in. 50 bucks all in probably for a, a a new head unit to freshen up the car, freshen up your old, you know, beater. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't complain. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, because, I mean, honestly, I think it's a steal. Oh, I have qualms with the price. This Jeep is slowly dying. I have no clue what that ticking is, but yes. Everything seems legit. Uh, if anybody knows what this thing is, it's clicking. Um, so that's a just something. Yeah, I have no issues with it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think.